little learners today i have come with a very interesting character say hello to the king of fruits mango he is no ordinary mango he will be taking us to an interesting world of counting we will be on an exciting journey where we will see an interesting story and then we shall be doing some fun activities so let's discover the magic of counting oh wow look it's a beautiful garden and there are so many beautiful birds there i even see our mango on the mango tree i see a squirrel on the tree oh now it's moving towards the mango and it has started eating it the birds are watching the squirrel eating a mango top oh the mango now falls down and look how quickly the squirrel grabs it on the ground it's now enjoying the delicious mango on the ground of all the birds that are on the tree one bird goes towards the mango and joins the squirrel in eating it so now you can see one bird joins and now two of them are eating the mango seeing this one more bird joins them now it's three of them all the three are eating the mango seeing this one more bird joins the mango seems to be really yummy that's why the birds are joining the squirrel to eat the mango now it's four of them that are eating the mango one more bird joins now how many are there now yes five five of them are eating the mango a squirrel has such a big heart it's sharing the mango with all of them noticing this one more bird joins now six of them are eating the mango keep noticing how the numbers keep increasing as more and more birds keep adding one more bird joins now it's seven of them that are eating the mango look one more bird joins how much does that make yes now eight of them are eating the mango oh my my one more bird joins now nine of them are eating the mango so in total nine which is eight birds and one animal which is the squirrel ate the mango wasn't it an amazing story now as we saw a squirrel and so many birds eating the mango did that make you wonder what their names were and what sounds they make let's together identify the characters in our story and their respective sounds let's start with our exercise by identifying the birds we came across in the story okay so what do you see yes it's the crow and how does it sound that's the sound it makes oh i see a pigeon too and how does it sound that's the sound it makes and even a tailor bird and they so beautiful and how does it sound that's the sound it makes moving on to the next one what is this yes it's a parrot and what sound does it make yes that's the sound it makes yes this is the maina and how does it sound moving on to the next one which bird is this yes it's the nightingale and what sound does it make yes that's the sound moving on to the last one so which bird is this yes it is our dear sparrow and what sound does it make yes 
Moving on to the next question. How many animals or birds were eating the mango in the beginning? Yes, in the beginning only one squirrel was eating the mango and one bird joins him. That makes it one and one, two. Two of them were eating the mango. The next question for you all is how many more animals or birds joined every time? So, one animal, that is the squirrel, was eating the mango and one bird at a time kept joining every time. So, in total, one animal and eight birds were eating it, making a total of nine. Moving on to the next question. How many animals and birds ate the mango at the end? So, as we've already discussed it, we had one animal and eight birds and making it a total of nine of them eating the mango. It's matching time. As you can see on the screen, we will be matching the number of birds with the number of fingers. So first, let's count the number of birds sitting on the branch. One, two, three, four. Yes, as you can see, we have four birds sitting on the branch. Now let's see which hand image matches with the number four. Yes, it's this one. Now, let's see the next one. How many birds are sitting on this branch? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Now let's see which hand image matches with the number five. You are absolutely right. It is this one. Moving on to the next one. Let's count together how many birds are sitting on this branch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, it's seven. Now let's see which hand image matches with the number seven. Yes, it's this one. Moving on to the last one. Wow, it's such a beautiful big tree and there are so many birds sitting there. Let's count together how many birds can we trace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Yes, there are nine birds sitting in the tree. Now, let's see which hand image matches with the number nine. Yes, you're right. It's this one. Let's move on to our next interesting exercise. As you can see on the screen, we again will be matching the fingers with correct number of dots. We will be starting with the first one. So how many fingers do you see? Let's count together. One, two, three, four and five. So since there are five fingers, we will be matching it with the exact number of dots. Yes, that's how we match it. Let's move on to the second one. How many fingers are there? One, two, three. Now we will match it with the exact number of dots. Moving on to the third one. How many fingers do you see? One, two, three, four. Yes, now let's match it with the exact number of dots. Moving on to the last one. How many fingers do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six fingers. So we will be matching it with the exact number of dots. That's how we do it. Wasn't it an interesting exercise? It's mime time now. We will be miming with our fingers. Let's now play with our fingers. Show 
three fingers to your friend, your friend has to show three fingers, but in a different way. So how will that be? You can show two on one and one on the other. Or you can show it like this, or like this, or like this. Similarly, you can play for other numbers. What are the different ways of showing four fingers using one hand? Let's try that. It can be this or this or this or this and it can even be this. So that's how you can show four fingers differently. It's your favorite time now because we will be playing outside. So let's come outside. Children, you can move in a circle by holding hands and singing songs. A child can clap and say four. All children can make groups of four by holding hands. The left out children can count the number of children in each group. Yes, similarly, children can continue this game by saying different numbers up to 9. And this brings us to the end of a wonderful time together. I hope you enjoyed the tale of Mango Treat and had fun during some of the exercises. We will be doing rest of the exercises in our next session. Till then... Keep practicing your math skills and remember, there is maths all around us, even in the sweetest stories. You will find maths and that's why it's so important and so interesting. Have a great day. Bye-bye.